Right now, I have a chocolate covered coffee bean between my fingers. It's the only time I'm going to eat in class, right? Like this. But just hang on for a second on that. Anatomy and physiology, here's what we're doing. Um, why is histology crucial to healthcare? This is the answer you're going to um, find before the end of class. Um, Here's our learning objective. Collect and organize data from microscope images. And there's more details on the slide uh, for four points, whatever letter, number and letter we're on. Um, you're going to be labeling drawings and writing summaries. You're going to need an iPad per person and pencils to do the drawings. Um, right this way. I'm about to tell you about the chocolate covered coffee bean. Uh, but first, you'll need one of these that you get from right here, a histology packet. Say histology, it means study of tissues, and we're going to be focusing on epithelial tissue. Now, to learn what we need to learn here, it's just like taste testers. They got to learn vocabulary and they got to really focus and analyze the different parts of, uh, of a food to get it. So there's salty, sweet, rich, all kinds of these descriptions. More descriptions you can do, the more things you can taste, and the more money you can make, right? That's how our society works. Um, and it kind of makes sense. Nobody's going to pay you to taste their food, but if you're super, super smart and you can tell them where the, and they can tell you where the best food is, you'll give them your money. So, um, as you're working through this packet, the warm-up, as, you, as you'll see on the slide, is to highlight, first of all, the answer to that daily assessment question you'll see at the end. Um, but as you flip through the packet, you'll see this is about tissues. There's different kinds, epithelial, connective, muscle, and nervous tissue. Epithelial, just like we looked at the skin, epidermis, is on top. So it's open to light. So everybody say lumen. So when you see a slide, like salivary glands, sliced, and we can see, and when you look on your packet, you'll see it more clearly, these places like this, that's lumen. So there's other places that are light colored, but that's just like, if you cut my arm off, you'll have my arm, and then you'll have kind of like draggly bits off that side of my arm. It doesn't mean it's hard to find the edge you can kind of see where this is the actual top part, right, on the rest of my hand. So we've got this slice, we find the lumen, we know that whatever kind of cells there are, that tissue up against the lumen is epithelial tissue. Now there's three different kinds of shapes of epithelial tissue. Now why do we have these different kinds of tissues? Well we've got eyeballs, we've got muscles, We've got all different kinds of tissues. It helps us do complex things, highly organized things, human things, right? A one-celled bacteria might just do one thing. It might just produce oxygen in great quantities. Um, it might be able to live in super hot temperatures, but it can't like communicate and do highly complicated things. But thanks to differentiated tissues, like cells differentiated, tissues differentiated, organs differentiated, we can do all those things that our bodies um, put together to do. So epithelial tissue mainly is to protect, but there's some specifics with each one. This is simple squamous epithelium, and squame, we can see our shape right in that. It's going to be squashed. So it's going to be like a one-dimensional kind of thing with a nucleus in the middle. Cuboidal is going to be like that, but it's going to be 3D. And that nucleus is, takes up a lot of space in there. It's very well defined inside there. There's that nucleus. And then if you'll swing over here, columnar has this column-like shape. And you can see its function like in the digestive system. It's got cilia, like little hairs that move. And then look, you can get the nutrients catch in there, and they can be absorbed, and you have one cell layer 
and to get those nutrients processed through into your bloodstream and you get that energy and uh, good stuff for your health. So, this, how are you going to fill these out? How are you going to organize your, your, uh, your data from microscopic, microscope images? We don't have all day to look at all the images you need to look at, so we're going to use some really cool digital technical stuff. Um, look, this says posters on here. I don't know why. Where does it say poster? Right here. It says posters. There's a document on Google Classroom that says charts instead of posters. So go to epithelial charts, epithelial tissue charts, and then you'll see A, simple squamous epithelium. And it's organized like this, but without the lines. So we're putting it, organizing it into this table. Now remember what I said about function. We just want the verb, right? So this first one is in the lungs. I'll start down here and some other places, uh, like the skin we just mentioned is actually these simple squamous, just a one single layer, well actually it's, a, it's not simple, it's a lot of layers of this, they're like pancakes, but in the lungs, which is this example we're going to look at, um, we just have like a simple one layer of it so we can exchange, uh, exchange gases. Now you can read on there, there's a lot of functions for, for it. But I'm just looking, you have kind of this, the summing up of verbs, right? So your kind of tissue that you're looking at might have two or three verbs. That's mainly what I'm looking at, that you understand how to identify those. Description, it might have lots of words, again, with the description. Um, it says also you can draw. So just do like what I did here. That works. Just draw one of these. Um, or the picture that they have, um, the way they depict it. If you're writing it, like I said, you can keep it short. If you really want to learn details, get the whole thing down. Um, here's how quickly I can do my example. And that's what this is right here. I looked at the slide that it showed me for the picture on the chart. And I see these kind of things. And what this is, is a cross section. So these are air sacs. And this space inside these kind of places is, what did I say? Lumen. And you can see that light. Now in here you can see every once in a while, if you look closely, you'll see nuclei. And it labels those, doesn't it? It has like, it goes like this, nuclei. Okay? But it'll have other stuff you might see around like this. Don't draw that stuff. Remember I said if I cut my arm off, there'll be blood and little pieces of flesh laying around. And so that's just, we want to look at how the tissue is intact the way it is. And so you kind of have to develop that eye just like a chef develops that sense of taste and can describe all these different flavors. Um, I'm expecting you to finish part A, um, all of these. You could finish it within the class time. I just expect you to take a big bite out of it. So if you don't get to the every last one, but you show me that like the way you're doing it, you're learning that for yourself, then you're in great shape. And feel free to move on to part B. Have an awesome day. Thank you.